only badgers were smart enough to leave bears alone. Probably the badger is probably the only animal without weapons that can take out a bear. Because they're fast and vicious. I think about the only thing that maybe can be able to stand toe to toe with a badger is a wolverine. Maybe. No badgers and wolverines are not the same. They're in the same family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, a bear can stand toe to toe with them. It's the, the badgers will outlast. That's not a group of random that took out a uh, giraffe. Mm -hmm. And they were jumping all over it, trying to get its hind quarter over its neck. And it's got a long neck. <laughs> Yeah, there's all kinds of weird people trying to figure out how giraffes seem to be because they, they always are supposed to be cock and bull stories of two different animals mating together. It's like, but well, that doesn't explain the neck. I'm just saying, like, like people try and claim like two modern animals had uh, mated and somehow became giraffes, and yet no one's ever figured out if that were the case why the long neck. Because neither uh, any time somebody comes up with a theory about like two of the animals we have nowadays supposedly coming up with a hybrid to be a giraffe. Neither of the species has the long neck. Okay. I'm just saying, for, for two animals to come up with something with a long neck, one of them would have had to have had at least a right. semi-long neck. And there are no animals that, that can explain a super long neck. None of them have a super long neck because they have to do that itself. Yeah. Hey, Erica? Yeah. No, I got this. Now! What? Social security is going to take a little longer. <laughs>